larger than an individual. As we consider people who walked by faith to fulfill the vision that God had for them, uh, we also see that the vision that God communicated to one individual was much larger than that one individual. We read in Genesis chapter 12 that God spoke to Abraham and he told him that he would make him a great nation. But this was also to involve Abraham's son, Isaac, and then the sons of Isaac and the generations to come. It wouldn't be possible just for Abraham to contribute to the vision that God had for him. So we observe that when God communicates a vision, it generally tends to be a lot larger than the person, the individual himself. God's vision, uh, even for David, God gave a, a life assignment uh, to David, which, which uh, was to build the temple as he desired. But you know, it wasn't David who built the temple. David got the plan uh, of the temple, but uh, this revelation was supposed to be passed on to Solomon. So uh, you, we, we see that in the vision that God gives us, it's not just us laboring, it's not just uh, us working alone to fulfill the purpose of God, but we've got to join hands with others that God puts in our lives as we work together uh, in a team, you know, a, a, Together, everyone achieves more. Uh, and we find that maybe several generations uh, are involved in, in fulfilling the purpose of God uh, uh, on the earth right now. So a vision will, will involve more than just an individual. So God gave David the plan to build the temple, but Solomon finally went ahead and built the temple. But was it just Solomon who, who put the bricks, uh, kept the bricks of the temple? No, he had many others who worked along with him uh, in, in putting that structure together. So a vision from God generally tends to be larger than the individual and we've got to learn to work with people and we've got to trust God that God is going to bring divine connections our way so that we can fulfill the vision that he has for us and time and again you know this is demonstrated in the lives of many people and even when Nehemiah was building the walls uh, of Jerusalem there, there was a, a, a collaborative work with Ezra so uh, there are people who, who might have different skills and interests compared to us, but somehow God puts these different people with different, different interests and skills together uh, to do a mighty work for his kingdom. So uh, today we encourage us to uh, connect with people uh, and to pray and ask God who are the people that we should be working with uh, and, and how is it that we can, we can work together and contribute greatly to the purpose for which God has called us. Shall we pray together right now? Heavenly Father, we thank you that you are a big God. Father God, uh, we, we expect great things from you, O oh God. And Father, we are willing to do great things for you. Father, thank you that your vision for us is large. Uh, and God, that it is more than an individual father who can fulfill the vision. So God, we pray that, that you will help us, oh God, work together with others. Lord, give us the wisdom, Father. And Lord, as iron sharpens iron, your word says that one man uh, sharpens another man, oh God. And Father God, together, Lord, we, we will extend your work, Father. And, and Lord, uh, may, we, may we work towards, oh God, the prosperity and the flourishing, oh God, of your kingdom. Father, uh, in a very special way, we ask for your grace upon every life, Lord, everyone who is listening today father god i pray that lord your hand of blessing will be upon their lives oh god that lord they will encounter you in fresh and new ways oh god and the power of the spirit will be real to them we thank you god we thank you for doing it we bless you god and we honor you in jesus name we pray amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally for more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.